I'm J.R. Church. Welcome to today's analysis of the news. According to Israel National News, there was an earthquake last Sunday night in Iran. This 5.0 weekend Richter earthquake in Iran was actually a nuclear bomb test. And this report is an Israel Insider exclusive saying that this past Sunday night, southern Iran experienced what was reported as a significant earthquake, a seismic event measuring 5.0 on the Richter scale. Its epicenter was just north of the strategic Straits of Hormuz. Well, folks, it looks like Iran has her nuclear bomb. She's working on it. And uh, there was enough explosion there to cause a 5.0 earthquake. And so, something's going to have to be done with Iran. Um, whether it's this nation or Israel, uh, the world cannot sit by. The United Nations cannot sit by and just um, put sanctions upon Iran. They're going to have to do something to get Iran to uh, stop making these nuclear weapons. In fact, Iran's president, Ahmadinejad, has suffered a serious, um, I'm not sure that it's a nervous breakdown but it's exhaustion of some kind he's very ill perhaps over all of this uh, would be something if he were accidentally um, around somewhere when the thing went off I'm not sure that he was but he is ill at this time and then there is a report from uh, Yahoo News that says that there was a missile silo set a fire or at least it it caught fire and went undetected for a while um, up near east of Cheyenne Wyoming uh, this article says a fire caused a million dollars worth of damage at an unmanned underground nuclear launch site last spring but the Air Force didn't find out about it until five days later an Air Force official said Thursday the May 23rd fire burned itself out after an hour or two, and multiple safety systems prevented any threat from an accidental launch on the Minutemen 3 missile. Um, isn't it wonderful that we didn't have an earthquake up there when this thing uh, got on fire? Well, our nation knows more about nuclear uh, bombs and how to keep them uh, uh, within safety factors. But this world is, is uh, moving toward a nuclear showdown, I'm afraid. Now we've got some, uh, some really nice emails here that I'd like to share with you. Uh, these emails come. Here's one from uh, Woodstock, Georgia, from Jennifer. She says, Dear J.R., Gary, and all at Prophecy in the News, I'm a longtime supporter of all that you offer, magazines, books, and webcast programs. I've never written before, but you asked for letters. Yes, yesterday I asked for you to send us an email so we'll know where you are. And she says, I'm glad to see that JR is getting well. Me too. <laughs> she says, I've been praying for him. Praise the Lord and thank you so much. She says, I've been a student of Bible prophecy since the days of the late great planet Earth and really trust that all uh, you offer to us. I'm looking forward to the article you mentioned about the Jewish wedding and the prophecy connection. My husband and I always try to see who can get to your magazine first when it arrives. There you go. <laughs> and by the way, there are others of you out there who probably need to get this magazine. If you don't, I, I ask you to just look on the website here and I can tell you it's available. So order it today. So thanks, Jennifer from Woodstock, Georgia. And then here's one from um, a city called Rock, West Virginia. Gail writes, so good to see you're gaining weight. Praying for you and still praying. I prayed for you and still praying. So enjoy the daily updates. Watching your program is equivalent to eating a chocolate ice cream cone. So very good. <laughs> she spells so with three O's there. I uh, have been subscribing to your magazine and watching Prophecy in the News for 15 years now. And always look forward to seeing that magazine in the mail. 
how you have blessed me with your knowledge regarding the Bible. Looking forward to hearing that trumpet and taking flight. 